Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Kettle. Uh, we are discussing questions of J.E. Advance and uh, today uh, we have a question uh, from function. Function is very important topic in data and that is uh, uh, basically uh, in J.E. Main, whether it is J.E. Main or J.E. Advance, there is always question from function. So let us discuss what kind of function is there and what is the questions. So let me discuss how to deal with this question. So question is given here that uh, if the function f r to r is defined by f x is equal to mod of x x minus sin x then which of the following statement is true f x is 1 1 but on not on 2 on 2 but not 1 1 and then it is written that both 1 1 and on 2 and neither 1 1 nor on 2 means we have to check this 1 1 or on 2 so to check 1 1 uh, function should be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing so to check it, how we can check it is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing that f dash x should be greater than 0. So let me check out first the function because it is a modulus function. So there are two possibility, two case. So let me define the function first. Uh, let us define the function. Let us define function fx. So fx is equal to what? Mod of x is positive x minus sin x when x is greater than equal to 0 and it will be mod x is minus x when x minus sin x is less than x is less than 0. So in fact this function can be written rewrite as x square minus x sin x isn't it when x is greater than 0 and that will be minus x square plus x sin x when x is less than 0 less than 0 just less than 0 right now okay. So rewrite like this. Now we have to find the derivative of function. So derivative of function, what will be that derivative? So first case, case first, when x is positive. Case first, when x is greater than 0. f dash x is equal to, what will happen? A square x square derivative 2x minus x derivative of sin x is cos x and plus sin x as it is derivative of x is 1. So that can be written as 2x minus x cos x. So we can write x minus x cos x plus x minus sin x. Can we write like this? So what will be that? x1 minus cos x plus x minus sin x. Now how can you decide this as a positive or negative? 1 minus cos x. Cos x is always less than 1. So 1 minus cos x is always positive. Here analysis is cos x is always less than 1, cos x value of cos x is always less than 1. So this employee 1 minus cos x is always positive. Okay. And x is positive also. It is written here. So positive multiply by positive is positive. So this portion will be always positive. This one will be always positive. What about this? x minus sin x. What about x minus sin x? So let me explain with some graphs that sin x, uh, x minus sin x, whether it will be positive or negative. So for this, we can construct a graph and on the basis of graph, let me write this, plot a graph and uh, on the graph, uh, we can draw graph for y is equal to, see, uh, y is equal to y is equal to this is y is equal to sin x right y is equal to sin x is a line um, at 45 degree angle you know and that will be this is y is equal to sin x so here is a graph and that graph is y is equal to sin x okay so y is equal to sin x. This is y is equal to sin x. This is x axis and y axis as well. This is x axis. This is y axis. That is x dash. This is y dash. So y is equal to x is a graph like this. And graph of sin x is from 0 to pi is like this. And from minus pi to 0 is like this. Okay. So this is minus pi. Here in this case, here x is greater than sin x 
at x is equal to 0, both of them are equal. But for positive region, when x is increasing, sin x is the graph of this is the graph of sin x. This is the graph of x. So here x is greater than sin x. Greater than or equal to I can say. So x minus sin x is greater than or equal to 0 for positive region. For negative region, x minus x is less than minus x is negative. So this x is uh, less than sin x. So x minus sin x is less than 0. So x minus sin x is less than 0 in negative region but in positive region x minus sin x is always positive. So here x minus sin x is also positive. This one is also positive. So this is positive and this one is also positive. So overall this whole expression is positive. So we can write this is greater than 0. This expression is nothing else but greater than 0. Greater than equal to 0. Because for x is equal to 0, cos 0 is 1, 1 minus 0, 1 is 0. Or x is equal to 0, 0 multiplied by something is 0. And at x is equal to 0, sin 0 is also 0 and this is also 0. So overall it will be 0. f dash x is greater than or equal to 0 in that case. Now the second case when x is case 2. Let me write second case. When x is less than 0. Yani when x is negative. Then what will be the derivative of function? For x is negative, there is a function like x square minus x sin x. This is the function. Okay. For x is negative. So we can do this derivative of x is here f dash x is equal to what will be that? Minus 2x plus sin x and derivative of x is 1 plus x cos x. So we can do it again like minus x plus sin x and minus x plus x cos x. If I took uh, this can be written as sin x x minus sin x x minus sin x and that is for if I took x common this is 1 cos x minus 1. So cos x is always what cos x minus 1 is always negative and uh, because maximum value of cos x is 1. So 1 minus cos x is positive but cos x minus 1 is always negative and x is negative itself. So negative multiply by negative this whole expression will be uh, positive. This whole expression will be positive. Isn't it? This whole expression will be positive. Okay. And x minus sin x is as I told here it is negative and negative multiply by negative is also positive. So overall this is also greater than 0. So whether x is negative or x is positive f dash x is always greater than 0 since f dash x is greater than 0 for all x right now and therefore fx is strictly increasing function strictly increasing function right strictly increasing function and therefore fx is 1 to 1 function 1 to 1 function okay fx is 1 to 1 function now to check whether it is on to or not we can have a function fx is equal to for x is positive this is x into x minus sin x for x is positive now when limit x tends to infinity fx is equal to what so the x minus sin x is a positive because it is a difference something positive and uh, here uh, it is going to be infinity so fx is x tends to infinity uh, fx also tends to infinity and uh, fx x tends to infinity fx also tends to infinity and uh, for fx is equal to again uh, fx is equal to minus x x minus sin x right for x is less than 0 so when x tends to minus infinity minus infinity then this is a positive or minus infinity and this is x minus sin x is a negative quantity for x is less than 0 as we have discussed here try to understand this is a negative quantity x minus sin x is a negative and x is minus infinity so minus infinity minus x is positive infinity and because x tends to minus infinity so minus of minus infinity is infinity and multiply by negative value it will be minus infinity so in that case fx is also tends to minus infinity 
so it is a function is when x tends to infinity uh, fx is also infinity when x tends to minus infinity fx is also minus infinity so therefore fx is on to function on to function and hence fx is one to one on to function therefore fx is one to one and on to fx is both one to one and on to function right this will be the answer so which option will be most appropriate answer fx is c c will be most appropriate answer because it is both one to one and on to so c will be answer of this question so hopefully uh, you got this how to deal with this question right and this may have to be the yogi आप इसको बड़े ही आसानी से कर सकते हैं और ऐसा क्वेश्चन आगे भी आएगा तो आप कर पाएंगे। So thank you very much for uh, this uh, watching this channel and uh, if you have, haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe it so that you will get the video uh, notifications uh, whenever it is uploaded. So press bell icon too. Thank you. Thank you very much.